While COVID cases are decreasing overall, the light green line in this new modeling shows cases among the youngest Canadians spiked during the fourth wave and are still the highest among all age groups. Dr. Tam says outbreaks in schools and daycares remain small. Involving fewer than four cases, which suggests sensitive detection and rapid response to control spread. Reality, right? This is where a lot of the cases are. The good parts about that is that we know that most kids who do get COVID do well. Of course, contributing to the cases, children under 12 can't yet be vaccinated. As for 12 plus. What's exciting about some of this is that what we're seeing in adolescents is that their uptake of the vaccine is very close to the overall adult uptake. And this is how you see the vaccine working. We don't see the burden of cases in that age group anymore. It's been a week since the U.S. gave the green light for children 5 to 11 to get the shot, but there are no updates for us in Canada. I would say to all parents that Health Canada regulators are working extremely hard, prioritize the review for this vaccine, but they need to do due diligence and it will be in weeks and not months. In the face of good indicators overall, the top doctors warned we could be in for a challenging winter, compounded by flu season. Busy flu shot season. Busy flu shot, yeah. The Prime Minister sent a message by getting his flu shot on camera. In Saskatchewan, we are seeing some kids in hospital with other respiratory illnesses. Um, so we need to remember that it's about COVID. It's also about the other illnesses that we do typically see in the winter for kids. So getting your flu shot is huge. I suspect that the flu season this year is not going to be as mild as last year because our restrictions are not as strict. Dr. Tam warning, we're not out of the woods yet and now is not the time to drop public health measures. With a potentially rough winter ahead, she says we'll probably be in a better position in the spring. Robin? Abigail Beeman in Ottawa. Thanks, Abigail.